Hey guys, King Matt here and welcome to the video. Um, it's a bit of a an update video on sort of what I'm doing. So I think I've mentioned previously, I've started sort of a fantasy um, project. If I haven't mentioned that previously, then I have started a fantasy project. Um, and maybe I just thought I'd show it off a bit. Um, I'm not sure if I wanted to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna apologize now. <coughs> I don't know where I put my tripod for my phone, so you're kind of awkwardly propped up on the table, um, which, I don't know, gives a weird angle, but it might work. So, um, for anyone who doesn't know, I do 3D printing, um, and I've purchased some files from Highland Miniatures, um, and they do a wonderful sort of fantasy range set of miniatures. <coughs> um, and what I've purchased, which um, is this army here, so which I think work really well for sort of Warhammer Fantasy Empire um, and sort of men, man, as it, as it were. Um, and yeah, this is kind of the project I've gone with. Um, the idea of this is uh, Warhammer Old World for whenever it comes out in the future, I'm going to be ready or fingers crossed I'm going to be ready. So to start with um i've got stl files i said 3d print them um kind of got a big collection going already it's just a matter of getting on and painting them so um this is where i'm kind of at currently where i'm just i printed a load of stuff off i'm just getting through if i show you for example here um a recent batch of a load of things I've 3D printed. So that's some sort of halberdiers and um, handgunners. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you, if I cut a sack, and I'll show you what I've currently painted up. Uh, and yeah, here's my, let's move the stuff out of the way. Here's my current painted stuff. So I've got some swordsmen, some halberds, halberdiers at the back, as well as a cannon and some handgunners. Um, I'll get some sort of pan shots so you can kind of see <clears throat> see what I've done. Um, and then <clears throat> going back to some more stuff I printed. These guys are sort of primed and ready to paint. So. I have, sorry, I've gone, gone, out, gone out of the picture. I've got um, a big army project going on. Um, the only thing I'm at a point now, so these chaps aren't quite painted yet, uh, finished, but I've got some archers here, for example. Not sure how I'm going to base them. So I've been toying with a few ideas. I've literally picked these up today, which uh, they're from Gamers grass dumb cane i i i don't know the company it's something i've found today but they're sort of printed and already sort of punched um plants and stuff so i picked that up as well as some sort of like leaves which have you know they're the stereotypical leaves you can kind of people pick up off the floor or you can buy them I paid for them, someone's sort of dyed them green so it works a bit better than what I had previously. So I'm trying out a new idea for the basin and that's going to be sort of a forest jungle themed. Um, I've kind of, um, I've got a good mate of mine, Ben, who's done a Lizardmen army and he's done sort of a jungle themed basin and it's incredible. Um, so I'm one, I just want to do something like that without copying him completely. But two, I kind of, I'm kind of liking the idea of a sort of conquistador style army where there may be sort of the empire have kind of drifted off into Lustria even though I think the old world setting is before that so that doesn't quite work for old world but I mean I don't care whatever but I kind of like the idea of them sort of going out into the forest and jungles and taking on whatever lives there so that's where I want to go I want to go to kind of a nice busy base um something I haven't done massively before so I've got loads of basin and stuff to, to do that with um so yeah, I'm kind of, this is where I'm at hobby-wise. <clears throat> I've kind of taken a, a bit of a back step with Mag Civil War currently. Um, I need to get on with that, but I'm kind of just painting what I enjoyed. And these um, highly miniature files are just phenomenal. 
Um, I don't know if the picture's going to show up well because it's focusing on me rather than these, but they've got a really great set. I've got archers, swordsmen, cowardies, spearmen, handgunners, crossbows, um, horsemen, you know, <clears throat> very, they've kind of complemented the uh, Warhammer Empire range. You know, they, there's quite similarities there, which works even better if you're trying to build an Empire army. Um, and because of the 3D printing, it's kind of... Um, I can print as many as I want. <clears throat> so I've got them on the Highland Miniatures Patreon, so you kind of give you a set of miniatures each month, um, or STL files. Um, so that's kind of where I've built my Empire army at. Um, I've got their Galia, or Galia range, which they kind of, it's kind of like a fantasy French knights and stuff like that. Um, you could potentially use it for Petonia. It looks very on theme for that which is great so i've got those sculpts as well if i want to do anything with it um which i haven't got any plans another really thing they've got cool uh coming up for october which they called spooktober i think or something like that they've done an undead themed army um which is skeletons with if you can believe it an egyptian theme which um one the files look great the sculpts look great and two works well for potentially a Warhammer fantasy if you wanted to because you've got the Tomb Kings so I'm absolutely going to be starting a Egyptian skeleton army and um, that will come out I'll get those files next month as part of the Patreon um, and then I think after that month they make them available for people to buy so <clears throat> see that out coming in the future but for now I'm just going to try rattle through my Empire miniatures um, like I said I plan on doing um, Old World Warhammer Old World with these guys I've currently painting them up with themes of the sort of the current uh warhammer fantasy setting so i've got avaland in there wizenland or visenland i don't know how you pronounce it sterland as well <laughs> what i'm thinking i've kind of gone for like a southern coalition of the sort of city states um and that's how i'm going to form my army so i'm going to have reichland as well um so i've kind of gone with that i don't know if they're gonna those city states will be the same in the old world which is set a bit in the past so i don't know if i painted up some of these miniatures and that six state isn't a thing back when old world is now set i don't know but at the moment i'm just having fun with it this isn't strictly old world um i based them on 25 mil circles um at the moment old world is changing basing sizes from what i understand with previous warhammer fantasy um nothing's really confirmed apart from this 20 mil square bases are going to be upsized to 25 mil square bases so i know i'm safe with 25 mil rounds because they can still go in and move a tray for example like this i can just get a modified tray which says people will be doing um <clears throat> and another thing is just i can use it for other games like saga age of magic for example um or age of sigma perhaps um even though they just scrapped empire or the Empire line, and they brought out the Cities of Sigma, which is all a revamped range. So now I've started collecting these, they've kind of binned off the old rules, so I can't really use them, which is a shame, but whatever. So, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at currently. So I just haven't really been doing a lot of hobbying. Obviously, I'm, um, if you can tell, I'm, I'm in the loft now. I think in my last video, I was showing off the loft. Um, it's not as accessible for me to quickly nip in here um and although i've been spending a lot of time up here i've just been doing a lot of stuff on my computer and that lot so haven't been doing much hobbying whereas recently i kind of got back into painting um so yeah that's where i'm at with it um i've got some really cool tree stumps and that for 3d printing from stl files which i'm hoping to print off and use to chuck on these guys bases don't know if that'll work again add to the jungle base theme so yeah um this is what i'm doing this is where i've been um i've i've been here <laughs> i've still been here just not been done a ton of hobbying um so yeah um i'm gonna round off the video um this is okay what i'm gonna try to do some more regular stuff i've really i've been kind of kicking myself i haven't been doing videos recently um it's purely been down to being busy and being lazy so um and also i don't want to put I didn't want to put a video out there that was kind of about nothing. Like this video, for example. I've just waffled about some miniatures. I haven't got an army to show you. I haven't got a finished, completed unit I can show off. I've just got, you know, a bunch of almost finished miniatures. 
but I thought I'd do it um, and kind of talk about it. So, um, on that note, um, channel's grown a lot recently, which is amazing, and I really appreciate everyone that's taken the time to comment on my videos, like my videos, and subscribe to the channel. Um, we're very close to the 1,000 goal um, subscriber count, which is awesome, amazing. I really want to do 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, where I want to give away something, if you couldn't believe it, which will be announced, I think once I'm past 1,000 subscriber giveaway, uh, I'm going to do a video, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's this is just a bit of fun, um, and thanks to you guys. Um, I think I'm going to do it themed on the American Civil War, because that's my jam, that's what I like. Um, so just keep your eyes peeled for that essentially um it might not come out straight away as it's um more about finances for me of being able to afford a giveaway and again this isn't pressure on you guys it's just I, something i want to do is a bit of fun and a thank you to you to you guys um and hopefully you know snag a few more of you war gamers into the american civil war so um although this video is not about american civil war um i still have to talk about it because it's my passion so uh yeah what i'm going to do is sort of i'll wrap up here um, thanks again for the support. I'll do another video once once I've figured out the basing. I'll do another video on these guys once they're complete. I'm going to start basing them tonight and hopefully get an idea of what I want to do. So thanks again, guys. Um, and as always, keep an eye out for any videos I do in the future. Cheers.